How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Around a month ago, I finally got launch control and flat foot shifting working on my Turbo Miata. It's really awesome. Lots of flames, lots of loud noises, and most importantly, better launches and much faster shifting and much faster acceleration and less turbo lag and all sorts of awesome stuff. There was one problem though. It was always on, which might not seem like a problem. I mean, if you have launch control and flat foot shifting 24 seven, that's pretty great, right? No. See, anytime I tried to rev match above 3,500 RPMs, launch control engaged and I couldn't rev match. Anytime I tried to accelerate quickly, but shift normally, flat foot shifting engaged, and it freaked out. So then I went into my ECU and I just turned it off and I, I haven't used it in a while. Today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be wiring it into a switch. So now instead of having to go into my computer, push buttons and turn it on and off, all I have to do, push a switch and then it goes from being on to off. So when I'm you know cruising around or on the back roads doing some you know spirited driving, I can have launch control and flat foot shifting off. But when I wanna smoke some Mustangs, I can turn it on. Now before we get to work, I wanna go ahead and thank the sponsors of this video, Skillshare. Now Skillshare is an awesome online learning community with over 20,000 classes and a bunch of awesome really subjects. Uh, videography, photography, technology, engineering, all sorts of awesome stuff. It is an incredible tool for anyone who is wanting to just learn more stuff or to turn their hobby into a full-time job or to start their own business. I personally have been using Skillshare to learn how to use my camera better and to get a little bit better at making my videos a little bit more cinematog... Cinematog... Cinem... I've been using it to learn cinematography. There we go. Now, if you guys go to the link in the description down below, you can get your first two months of uh, Skillshare completely free. And two months is a pretty long time. You could learn quite a bit of stuff in two months. So if you're interested, go hop down in the description. Huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and for helping me learn how to use this camera a little bit better. Now, originally, I was going to use <clears throat> One of these three switches here. Um, this is actually why I built this switch panel in the first place, is so I could wire up launch control through it. But I never did. I also just kind of want to get rid of this thing. It's made out of plywood. It looks kind of bunk. And I'd rather have uh, some more gauges right there. So I was trying to look around for places that I could put the switch. I could put it here, but then I had to drill a hole in my dashboard. I could replace my um, cigarette lighter with a switch, but then I don't have a cigarette lighter. And I can't light my cigarettes. No, I'm just kidding. Then I can't charge my phone. And that's when I saw this little buddy right here. Now, I don't have cruise control, and this is the most satisfying switch I've ever pushed. Like it's click, click. So I think this would be a really awesome switch. It'd also be kind of sleeper. I mean, you're in here, and you just boop. Now I can smoke some Mustangs. I believe this bad boy pops out from the sides, just like so. Hey. That was the easiest removal ever. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're going to put a multimeter in these things and see when the continuity changes from not continuous to continuous when you switch it on. Hope I have a multimeter. My multimeter has indeed gone missing. Uh, unfortunate, but expected. So now we have to go to the store and get one. If I can't figure out how to hack the, uh, the stock cruise control switch, I found a switch at Ace Hardware that would fit where this dummy switch is, so I could replace the dummy switch with a switch. I'd still rather use this very satisfying, like, look at that. On, off. That's the fun button right there. Yeah, I had no hope of finding that out. I'm not smart enough with wiring to use a one, two, three, four, five, six wire stock switch with two wires. I don't know how to make it work. So I'm gonna try to find a switch that will fit into here in the stock location. So pretty much what this is going to do, instead of running the clutch 
little signal switch straight into the ECU will run it through this switch. So when we want to turn off launch control, we'll disconnect the switch, it will break the circuit, and then the ECU doesn't know when the clutch is engaged and thus it never turns on launch control. So that's how this works. It's just a super simple way on turning launch control on and off. All right, all the wiring has been ran. Before I clean it up, I'm going to go ahead and test it. I need to go ahead and turn on launch control, which means I need my ancient tuning computer. You can tell this computer is old because that used to be my dream car. Camaro ZL1, but not the current generation. All right, so we connect to the ECU. Connected, we go boost advance, launch control, and we turn that crap on. All right, so now it's time to test everything. All right, so technically it should be off right now. All right, so the switch is off, clutch is engaged, and launch control it does not work. Turn the switch on, clutch engaged. It works! <laughs> Heck yeah! That's another problem with launch control that I, uh, I turned it off for that reason. Sometimes it dies after you try to use it. Well, it only dies if you don't use it. All right, I cleaned everything up in terms of wiring. I think it's time to go ahead and have some more fun. I turned on the flames, which pretty much means it's only doing a spark cut during launch control and flat foot shifting, which means fuel builds up and when it ignites, it makes a big flame. I've got my other camera on slow-mo, so hopefully it can capture a slow-mo flame, which would be pretty cool. I don't think I retarded the timing enough in order to shoot flames. There was loud noises and a little bit of smoke, but no flames. Maybe baby flames. But using launch control with a bunch of retarded timing is uh, not safe, so I'm not going to do that. It still sounds cool and it still scares people. Okay, so that's all I really want. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. Launch control off right now, so normal driving. It looks so OEM to that switch. It looks like it's meant to be there. It would have been better if I could have used the cruise control switch, but I found out that that is an electric switch. Like, it's 100% electric. There's no actual um, mechanical switching going on inside that switch. So it would have been, I think, impossible to use. So I'm glad I didn't try to spend a ton of time figuring it out. It is really just so 
awesome having launch control and flat foot shifting ready at a flip of a switch. It's the best of both worlds because I can have the drivability of not having it engaged and um, being able to have it engaged when I want it. So it's so, so awesome. It works great. I need to get used to it again. I need to get new motor mounts so I can get every gear. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am taking... Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> That wasn't supposed to happen. The best part is that here I am in my 29 year old car with a beautiful interior, awesome power, crazy noises, and I can get out and just close the door and lock it with the push of a button. So yeah guys, that's going to be it. Uh, Molly now has launch control and flat foot shifting ready with just a, a switch. If you guys have a Turbo Miata and you haven't gone through the effort of setting up launch control and flat foot shifting yet, I, I totally recommend it. I know it is a little difficult. The wiring is just dumb and you have to get a variable TPS and some other stuff, but it's so worth it once it's actually done. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. If you didn't, please actually give it a dislike and tell me how I can improve my videos. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. The support I've been having recently is unreal, so thank you guys so, so much. The Rally Miata video I made has hit a million views in like a week. Nah, it's been like two weeks, but still, that's insane. That's my second video ever to hit a million views. So thank you so much for all the support. Thank you also for sending pictures of your cards for Subscriber Showcase. If you want to be featured in Subscriber Showcase, uh, send an email to gingiumshowcase at gmail.com, I believe. Also, thank you to uh, Skillshare for sponsoring this video again. Check them out in the description. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.